What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to another reaction. It has been a while since we've done a Nukes Top 5 reaction, and I thought, you know, while I'm bringing just reactions until uh, Alan Wake Remastered, couldn't remember the name for a second, Alan Wake Remastered comes out, I figured we'd do one. You know, this came out about a week ago, but hey, it's all right. And I'll definitely do my best to try to start doing more. And like I said, if anybody wants to see any other reactions, you know, y'all can recommend me, you know, Nerdcore Tracks all day. But if there's anything else you would want to see, like Nukes Top 5 or anything else, like anything funny, especially because I haven't really, well, it's been a while since I've done uh, reactions to funny stuff. I did those like way, way back years ago, <laughs> now that I think about it. But uh, if you have any recommendations, definitely let me know down in the comments. But uh, this is top five ghost videos, so scary, you'll cry like a big old baby. I don't know, nukes. I'm pretty tough. But we gonna find out. Without further ado, hey, Let's see who cries. Ghosts caught on camera. Yeah. Attachment. Oh, Tammy that's Germathy not says good. That paranormal activity has become a regular part of her life. Tammy believes that a dark entity has oh, attached no, itself not to near her the baby. and follows her from home to home, no matter where she moves. That sucks. Tammy is so intent on capturing evidence of the supernatural activity that she experiences on a daily basis that she set up multiple motion-activated security cameras well, all around me, her home in Mountain House, California. So For the there first time ever, she captures what she has witnessed firsthand throughout her life on camera. Really? Oh boy. Oh, and this is recent, like 2020. What the? Wait, is that a cat? <laughs> Yo, the cat's looking right at it. I mean, it is a dolly tilting, but wow. Wow. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Her cameras capture extreme poltergeist activity as furniture and objects move on wow, their own. It even freaked and then out the most cat. terrifying of all, a pale figure can be seen looking out from behind a Damn, wall. It even freaked and out these spooky Poncho. incidents are just the beginning of what Tammy captures on her cameras. Damn, poor Poncho On January the cat. 30th, 2020, Tammy packs up her life and moves from California to her new home in McKinney, Texas. Welcome! Almost immediately after moving in, the paranormal activity starts up once again, and the events only seem to get worse as Tammy, her cats, and even her dog are terrorized by the dark presence in her home. Oh, that's not so good. He's literally been standing there now for about 10 minutes. Won't come when I call him. Hasn't moved at all. No. Look at his eyes, Just keeps though. Staring in here at me. Why are they glowing like that, bro? Really kind of creeping me out. I'm, I just shut the door at that point. I just shut the damn door from the sink into the pan on the counter. It went up. Oh my God. Tammy's cat seemed visibly spooked by something we can't see. Oh my God. As her cute little doggy is alone in the kitchen, a fork suddenly launches from the dishes in the kitchen sink and lands in an empty frying pan. I thought that was a spoon. Another area in Tammy's new no Texas cat. home that seems that to attract a, a lot of supernatural activity is her bedroom, where she keeps a collection of antique dolls, old photos, and clothing in a wooden... See, that's where you messed up, all right? That's where you messed up. That stuff right there. Not in my house. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That right there is why. Get them dolls out of there. No. Glass display cabinet. Nah. -uh. Nope. S see what I mean? See what I mean? I guarantee you they attach to one of them. Guarantee you. Over the years, Tammy has captured countless <laughs> motion activated videos of terrifying activity in her home. And she begins to share her videos online on TikTok. 
for the world to see. Oh, so this has been she going on for years. She begins to receive a lot of attention from concerned paranormal fans as she frequently uploads her haunting experiences. This has been going on for Tammy's years. Horror, the unknown entity that she captured on camera in her old home seems to have returned with a vengeance. Oh, kitty. Oh, right near the cat. Oh, my God. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. A strange mist seems to appear in Tammy's kitchen, living room, and bedroom. Creepiest of all, the same pale figure that she captured on camera in California Hell seems nah. to appear in her new Texas home's bathroom mirror. So what do you think is going on in Tammy's home? Could a dark entity have made a connection to her and now be following her from home to home? That is never a, stopping? That is a great As always, possibility. I leave it up to you to decide. Yo! You can watch all of Tammy's paranormal experiences over on her TikTok page. The Haunted One 36. Out the door. We are already seeing some legit shit. And we still got four more. Leave and die. Oh boy. Popular Japanese ghost hunters Gachan, Daichan, and Yasuke from the YouTube channel Clip Store are contacted by a viewer who tells them the story of the historic Sabukawa village in Miyazaki Prefecture, Japan. Okay. A small Japanese village was built way back in 1597. Yo, is that George Takei? In a remote area, high in the mountains. The mountain village had no roads and was a bit dangerous to travel to. So by the mid-1900s, many of the villagers began to leave the settlement. Right. By 1989, the historic 400-year-old Sabukawa village was completely abandoned. An anonymous viewer tells the ghost hunters that a few years ago, a friend of hers went to visit the decaying and empty houses of Sabukawa Village, oh deep boy. in the mountains. Oh the boy. urban explorer told her that he was confronted by an angry old couple who seemed to be living in the abandoned village. What? Strangely, they told him to, quote, leave and die. Allegedly, only six months after his journey to the village in the bizarre meeting, the man passed away. No Now the way. viewer says that as inaccessible as the mountain village is, it seems very unlikely that an old couple would be living there all alone. Yeah, like so how would you? So odd encounter and the man's subsequent death, the viewer is convinced. Hold on, so this person, you know, they actually are gone? Like, for real? That is freaky. And, you know, if that's the case, God rest their soul, but the coincidence of it happening is just all too freaky. It's that the people that her friend met were actually angry, vengeful spirits. That don't surprise the me. Store team I'm like, there's no way people the could be up there. Sabukawa village might be haunted. When they arrive at the location, they realize just how hard it is to reach the town. They have to leave their car and continue hiking on foot. Hell no! After nah. they finally arrive at the village, the team decides to split up and meet back in 30 minutes. No! They all set timers on their phones and go their separate ways to explore. Strength in numbers! In the dead of night, Clip Store host Gachan discovers the ruins of an abandoned school. What happens next is downright creepy. Uh, uh. Uh, Oh! It sounds like the footsteps of someone running in the building. Uh uh! Oh! Oh! You gonna need to take a few steps back in the other direction. 
Gachan discovers that the building is on the verge of collapse, but still, from somewhere inside, he hears the sound of someone running, followed by the loud bang of something slamming or falling. Vamoose, boy! It is time to go! You could not have had a more creepier alarm, too! Gachan's timer alerts him that the 30 minutes are up. You could not have had a more creepy alarm! From inside the creepy building that seems to agree. Yeah, Gachan time returns to, go. to the entrance of the village where he finds fellow investigator Yasuke. The two guys wait for their friend Dai Chan. Uh uh. But he just never shows up. Uh uh. You better go the guys get your start boy. To get worried and decide to go look for him. You better go get After your boy. After a long search, they finally find Dai Chan in what appears to be a long abandoned house. Oh. Dai Chan. Dai Chan. Yo, what happened to the homie? Daichan is confused and possibly dehydrated, just Damn. sitting there as if in a daze. But his camera is still recording. Road? Fearing for Daichan's health and safety, they decide to just get out of there and make the long hike back to the car. Yeah, just carry him Later, if you have to. When they look back at Daichan's captured footage, they are shocked to their core. Dai Chan seems to have encountered something absolutely terrifying. Oh yeah. This is the footage from Dai Chan's camera. Oh yeah. What's good with you? In good shape? Kind of is, I'm not gonna lie. Interesting. A Buddhist altar. Pay your respects, move on. Pay your respects and move on. Pictures. They blurted out. Was that a face? Yo, hold the fuck up. Wait a minute. That's that did not just vanish. That did not just vanish. What it what is that? Okay, so it it it, it looks like it's not blurred because it's the way that the window is. But I could tell it looks like a face. You got the roundness of the face. You got the hair going around it. That could be like a uh, part of the torso or like the shoulder or something, something like that. But now that I got a good look at it, let me see if it's still there when he pops back up. No way. It's gone. Oh, and his foot is stuck? Nah, you need to shine that flashlight up. Like that whole room up. You need to light that whole room up. Yeah, it's gone. It's not there. It's not there anymore. Don't 
go near it. Don't go over there. Dijon, my boy, what are you doing? Go that way, towards the door. Who in the hell? This is where the team finds Daichan. Gaichan picks up the camera and continues to record. He's shook. That's what he is. He is shook. Daichan saw some shit. And he is shook. Ah! Uh, I couldn't suddenly tell sees what a that bizarre was. Pale face staring back at him from behind a door. In shock, he stumbles back and falls. But when he gets back up. The mysterious creepy face yeah, it's not has there. disappeared. That's nuts, man. But then, man. as he turns around, he sees a man wearing a traditional Japanese robe, kneeling at a Buddhist altar on the oh, other side of the abandoned wow. home. Later, when I his friends even find him and Gachan the walks outside, there. the same terrifying apparition of the man in the robe can be seen at the window. Oh, just watching him I didn't as look he up leaves. a little bit. I needed to look up. Oh, I see it now. Bro. So did the clip store team capture real paranormal activity in the abandoned Sabukawa village? Um, Let me know what you think. I'm pretty convinced. You can watch this entire two-part investigation with even more scary paranormal moments over on the Japanese YouTube channel, Clip Store. I'm gonna have to start watching Before these. We move on to you know what I just freaking realized? All these people bring to these locations, these broken down and toe up from the flow up locations are cameras, tripods, lights, their phones. That's it. Do these people think that maybe just maybe they should pack some medical supplies, bandages, gauze, alcohol? Because what happens if you trip and fall? What happens if one of them spiky pieces of wood pricks you in your hand, cuts you across the arm? What happens then? You gonna have more than a ghost to worry about. As a matter of fact, they probably won't even haunt you because they'll know this place is old. He's finna turn into a zombie. Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Mm. Now, if you've watched Nuke Stop By for very long, you know all about the YouTube channel Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. But for Haven't anyone heard new, of it. here's a quick recap. Okay. So a man named Kent Burris says that he and his family live in a house that is extremely haunted by multiple ghosts. Oh boy. Over the years, Kent has posted over 100 spooky paranormal video captures to his channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Nope. Okay, there he is, in the window again. You got me fucked up. Oh, you ain't paying rent. Oh my. Who, who and whoa! Whoa! Wait a minute! That was a whole body! That was a whole yeah, body! Get the fuck out of here, dude! Why the fuck haven't you left? Why haven't oh you left? God. That is a no. whole body! Now, in Kent's latest video series, he plans to spend 72 hours Hell all alone inside his haunted home. Hell as he believes nah. this might ramp up the paranormal activity and also make the incidents easier to verify. That was enough verification. There was a whole body on your bed. Who the hell wouldn't believe this crap? There's only so much you can fake. Okay? <laughs> There's this only video so much! Is about being alone in the lamb house for 72 hours. Because when you sleep in this house and you know there's other people in this house, you know, you, you question whether something was paranormal related, but you're not sure because there's other people in the house or the cats are in the house. Now, during this 72 hours, the cat stayed out on the porch the whole time. Throughout the day and night, uh -huh. Kit captures multiple strange EVPs throughout his home. And some of the messages are truly 
disturbing. Are you in the kitchen now? Edmund. Female, female disembodied voice. One's got a mouth on him. Demon. And some of the supernatural EVPs that Kent captures even seem to be chilling threats focused directly at him. Uh uh. Uh uh. Now, as Kent is recording EVPs, he is also capturing video. When he reviews his footage later, he realizes that he captured something else in his house. Was it another something body? Absolutely horrifying. Now, when I was doing the captions on these EVPs, I noticed something really strange by the steps. Well, I went to brighten it up and just to check it out, just out of curiosity. <laughs> a face it's like a skull yo my eyes are watering right now what the absolute fuck a dark figure with an odd distorted face seems to be peering at camp from around the corner of a doorway it's either but that it's or so dark that he doesn't even notice Either that or does it kind of look like an alien? Like, am I tripping? Am I tripping? That really looks like an Around alien. Around the corner of a doorway, but it's so dark that he it looks like an alien. <laughs> he doesn't even notice because it has a super Later, big Kent head. Later, upstairs to film in his bedroom, but he suddenly hears an odd, unexplained noise right behind him. Ah uh ah. -uh. No, now that, when I go through the door of the bedroom, down I hear a neck. strange sound behind me, and I turn the camera around really fast. Now I didn't see anything there, but out of curiosity, when I was going over these recordings, after I saw what was captured on the stairway, I also brightened up, lightened up the recording. When when I spun the camera around, and there was another strange anomaly captured. Let's see. Ken hears a noise and as he spins around, he Did captures like an unexplained shadow that seems to descend the stairs yeah. and disappear from sight. It was either, <laughs> my dumbass said it vaulted over. <laughs> Like it was really trying to get the fuck out of Dodge. So did Kent capture evidence of the Yo, paranormal that is in his creepy. Home? How do you Check fake out his that? full two-part series over on his channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine, and decide for yourself. I'm gonna really have to start watching viewer some of these videos. New top five viewer Jordan Bison in a video that he took while doing on this. an exploration trip to Bodmin Moor in Cornwall, England. Okay. Bodmin Moor is a very remote 80 mile stretch of land that is full of eerie legends and historic abandoned properties and ruins. Oh, was that a ruins. stone? Was the it area stone is so remote that Jordan stone? and his friend James Wheeler called? had to walk three hours into the wilderness just to find it. One bit of famous folklore from this area is the gruesome though. tale of Charlotte Diamond, a young girl who in 1844 had her life tragically and brutally taken on Bodmin Moor. Aww. The man who took her life, Matthew Weeks, was hanged for his crime, and to this day it is said that both of their spirits roam the moorlands. So, Jordan and his friend James are taking videos of an abandoned home in the middle of nowhere in Bodmin Moor, and they capture something truly chilling. I bet it looks damp. Oh. That's the music. Did you see it? 
uh-uh. What when happened? the footage is slowed down, the face of a child can be seen looking into the window from the other side of the abandoned Whoa, building. Whoa, I did not Jordan see that. Jordan doesn't even notice and has no idea what he's just recorded as the little face seems to just duck away from the window. I did the not see that. The explorer claims that he and his friend James were the only ones there. And he believes yeah, that the face might like, belong to the restless you're spirit out in the middle of, of nowhere, Diamond, man. The girl like, who lost her who life there would be out so there? many years ago. Who else would be out but there? What do you think this could be? Let me know down in the comments. In another creepy video, Nuke's top five viewer Giannis Tassis from the city of Kozani, Greece, claims that he was Greece. on his way home one night when suddenly he hears a very bizarre sound. He quickly I would have bought that and name so bad. I almost said Giannis. <laughs> Breathe. Hey, use them gut instinct. Run. I can tell. I... The hell is that? A Wendigo? That's a Wendigo! That is the skin crawler! Damn, you near the roof! Giannis explains that the small structure is the entrance to the town's water tank, and he believes that whatever he's hearing might be something echoing from inside the tank. That in and of but itself is freaky. From where? That in and of Either itself way, is the freaky. Is, remains a mystery to this day. Wow. Like, could that have been somebody who was trapped down there? But that cannot be human. That can't be human. Viewer Jesse Chapman claims that late one night her sister, who lives in West Virginia, captured something very strange on her CCTV doorbell camera, and she simply can't explain it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. -ha -ha -ha. No, sir. No, sir. She is just out there minding her own business, sitting there A creepy enjoying the to night. Walking on the lawn right in front of Jesse's sister. And this but thing is tasting says the she joint. Didn't see anyone or anything at the time, and she has no idea what the security camera captured that night. No. Nah. Whether it's something paranormal or just some very, very odd video glitch. As always, I leave it up to you to decide. Nope. The House of the Scarecrow. Paranormal investigators Kevin Barranco and Fabio Adalco from the popular YouTube channel Archivo Extinto travel to an abandoned farmhouse in Mexico that locals claim is extremely haunted by a bizarre humanoid entity that they call, quote, the Scarecrow. No. It is said that an elderly couple who used to live in the large farmhouse tragically passed away after being abandoned by their own family. Aww. Their remains were not discovered for many years and That's the farm was tragic. left in a severe state of decay. That's tragic. Over the years, local residents and even visitors to the farm began to tell the frightening story of a Scarecrow-like spirit that terrorizes anyone who dares to set foot on the haunted property. Ghost Hunters Kevin and Fabio set out to investigate whether the stories are true. Right. Very soon after the guys arrive, they find something strange hidden behind a pile of bricks. And immediately after they pry it loose and pick it up, they witness something downright creepy. Nope. Uh-uh. I am not touching nothing. <laughs> Hey, at least he's got the rosary on him. So, he's, you know, he's got the faith. What is that? Is that a bone? Nah, that wouldn't wind, bruh. That wasn't wind. 
No way. No, that's not a bone. That's like a little, like a little idol. Me lo llevo. You better open it with a 10 foot pole. What is that? Yeah. That a random plank of wood? What is? Alguien se metió? Okay, there are also cars in the distance. Kevin and Fabio find an odd small figurine hidden underneath a pile of bricks. It looks and then uh, suddenly right behind them, hand a door uh, closes too. on its own. The two explorers immediately head in to investigate, but they find nothing to explain the door's movement. As they continue to look around, things take a terrifying turn. Wait, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Don't fall! <laughs> I don't. <laughs> whoa! 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 <laughs> it faded into the wall! What the fuck? Yo, just watch it pull a Homer Simpson! <laughs> It pulled a straight Homer Simpson into that wall. There is no way, dude. Oh, oh, maybe not through the wall. Maybe it went through that, uh, okay. See, I was about to say. I just saw a ghost moonwalk. No me asustes que viste. Fue una sombra negra, justo aquí, en este lado, güey. Aquí, aquí, como si se fuera metiendo hacia acá, güey. ¿Sabes? Maybe it was walking, ¿Qué? saw them, and backtracked. That's kind of what it looked like. Be careful. Let me instruct y'all on something. That is the face of a man that has true terror in his heart. <laughs> that is the face of true fear. True terror. Kevin spots someone or something looking at them from behind a doorway. Yeah. They rush over, but again, no one there. That's when the two friends hear a blood curdling deep growl or shriek coming from somewhere nearby. Uh-uh. So did Kevin and Fabio capture yeah, the sinister it looked like humanoid it was entity that the locals call, quote, the scarecrow? And then it straight up just backed or up. is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can check out this full investigation and many more creepy videos over on the YouTube channel, Archivo Extinto. That was by far the best one I've ever reacted to. I was afraid, legitimately freaked out from beginning to end. Top tier. Top tier, nukes. You did damn good with this one. But I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you did, why not leave the video a like? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, why not consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of this mayhem. Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.